AW Dynamite tonight. Tony Khan had his latest big announcement. And this one, June 26th, United Center in Chicago. It will be AEW versus New Japan Forbidden Door. A joint pay per view. There will be AEW versus New Japan matches. We don't have a lineup yet, but uh, should have one coming up soon. But that's the announcement. Probably not that soon because I doubt that they'll announce anything until after um, the pay per views. I mean, and New Japan's got uh, New Japan's got Dominion in early June. So if they're going to be doing any championship matches, they won't be able to announce any of them uh, until uh, mid June. If AEW is going to do any championship matches on the show, which for a pay per view they really should. They would have to probably wait until after, um, you know, the the Double or Nothing show. So we may not get matches that quick, you know, especially with New Japan, where they rarely announce stuff too far ahead um, if, it, if it has to do with any championships. But, uh, I mean, the show can take a million different forms. Um, you know, they're going to be doing uh, <clears throat> a lot of promotion versus promotion stuff. So it's just uh, basically an agreement if to make the show click. The agreement has to be that uh, each side's going to have to have a couple of its top guys, you know, at least one or two of its top guys lose, and then you can always do, like, multiple person matches. You know, um, you know they, I'm, you know, they teased already Undisputed Era and Bullet Club in some form. I don't know if they'd be against each other. Um, you got United Empire. You got uh, Black Bull Combat Club. So you always have someone in those teams that can do a job without, you know, beating one of the top guys. But still, they, um, I mean, I think for the show to work, you would want, um, you'd want the IWGP title and the AEW title matches on the show against a top guy from the other promotion that you can afford to beat. Um, so whoever comes out, you know, whether it's Punk or Adam Page, you know, should defend against a top New Japan guy um, you know, really top guy and beat them, um, whoever that would be, um, you know, um, and then on the same, on the same token, whoever the IWGP champion is, whether it's Okada, Naito, or whoever, um, whoever gets the title shot after a Dominion, um, you know, would defend against someone, you know, like, uh, could be an Adam Cole, um, although maybe he'll be in that, in a multiple person match. Um, you know, could be, you know, whoever. Um, so the, you know, I think that's the key to making the booking of it click is to have the championship matches on the show, but it's, a, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. There's always political hurdles on it because both companies are probably not going to want their top guys to lose to somebody from another company. Um, the, you know, I mean, United Empire and uh, and uh, Blackpool Combat Club makes sense coming off of the Moxley Will Osprey match from Chicago, uh, but that doesn't mean that they'll go in that direction. Um, so, but looks good. I mean, the the next question, and I don't have the answer to this one, but it's the obvious question: is if they're going to do a pay per view on June twenty sixth in Chicago, are they going to do another pay per view? on September 3rd in Chicago, or September 4th in Chicago, uh, the Sunday. Uh, so you said they'd be the 4th. Um, or are they moving, the, or will they move the pay-per-view to another city? Um, I know Tony Khan doesn't want to break tradition. So I, you know, but then you're going two straight pay-per-views in Chicago. Uh, maybe, you know, last year they, they did the United Center, and they came back and did the Now Arena, uh, just a couple of weeks apart and did sell both out immediately. Although a lot of people may forget that the uh, United Center, um, they did sell it out immediately, but the scalper prices did crash, even with Punk, whereas the other one, the scalper prices went through the roof, the, the Now Arena. So um, that's something, you know, there was a, a lot of people wanted to get tickets, but they may have been scalpers and and uh, had had trouble unloading them. That may happen here. Maybe people will. Maybe the scalpers will think that this uh, 
AW New Japan thing is real big and gobble up all the tickets quickly and and we'll see what happens. So there's uh you know, and there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of markets AEW could go to to pay per views without, you know, going to Chicago, which um I don't want to say it's burned out, but the last time AEW was there, they didn't sell out Wintrust. And Wintrust is not a big building. So they were running too frequently because Chicago should be able to sell 7,000 tickets every time AEW goes there, as long as they don't go there too often. Um, or, well, they didn't sell 7,000 for the the uh, the two shows between, you know, the, um, the Rampage and the Dynamite before the pay-per-view, but... Um, you know, that, that actually they did, they did four shows in the market in what, like two and a half, three weeks. So that's not going to, you know, two and four shows, you're not going to sell it all for under any circumstance. And, uh, usually when they do a pay-per-view, uh, they do do at least the Friday show and sometimes the Wednesday show in the same building or the same, at least the same market to lessen travel expenses and, and everything. And that would be. You know, that would make those tickets pretty tough. Um, we'll have to see, um, you know, as far as what they do. I mean, there's so many markets right now that they could go and to a, to a pay, to do a, a double or nothing pay-per-view and, and, and sell out. Um, so I don't know what they would do. I would, you know, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. They're really married to that now arena for Labor Day. It's one of those things. So um, at the same time, it might not be the worst idea to try to do a stadium show somewhere over Labor Day. Um, you know, I mean, there, and, and obviously the place for that would be Toronto more than any place else, because that's the place where, where if they do the first, a double or nothing, um, or, or, uh, uh, all out, I should say, if they do all out in Toronto at a stadium. I mean, I think that there's, you know, I don't, I don't want to predict the number, but I would think that it would be, Easily the biggest attended show in the history of AEW. If they were to do that, so that might be the call. that might be the right call. So, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I know there's there's always problems with doing a show in Canada f um, for the first time. They got to get visas for everybody. Um, but you know they're long overdue going into Toronto and uh, Canadian ratings. While they up they are up and down, they've generally been very good. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.